this is to win the Bill Goss. Can you uh, tell us, is there a good uh, statistical correlation between the number of all assists found in the sample um, and between the samples? If you show up one, if you show up ten, are, are those tests accurate? Okay, because of the test method, um, you really don't recover all of the cysts that are in the water sample. The valid recovery rates can range from 11% to 13% you know, to 111%. So um, the results, frankly, have a pretty uh, big margin of error. So you might find one or two cysts by the test method, but there could be quite a few more that were not detected. Um, and that's one reason why we're also looking for zero uh, in the samples, because even at zero, there could be one or two cysts that just didn't get detected by the test. And that's, and that's just due to the lab procedure. Did that answer your question? Floating in Pine Creek Reservoir. 
So there was some truth to that, but not in Goodrich. I just want to add in there, we do, uh, Jake does do test our water uh, weekly for E. coli. And so if there's if there's something dead in a stream or in a reservoir, the e, e. coli uh, levels will go up immediately and we'll know. And uh, it's a, more of a bacterial test that we can do uh, quickly and shut water off. So we, we do check that at, uh, at least weekly and, and sometimes uh, three or four times a week. If, if, uh Any questions? I'm open to subject.